Okay, I'm back now, and we were talking about Command J, we were talking about keyboard shortcuts, which is uh, which are very 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 cool. Another sheet keyboard shortcut I keep doing, I'm not even telling you about because I'm so used to doing it, is Command plus or minus, right? So if I hit Command or Control plus or minus, plus brings me into the image, zooms in, minus bring zooms me out. And you know what's funny? I actually use this navigator um, every once in a while because actually I'll be working in here. I never use this zoom thing because it's just kind of weird. But um, I'll be working on this window or whatever and I want to get to this other window and I could be doing all this hand stuff. But instead I'll just grab this just like that and it's a little bit easier to do that. Anyway, see I don't really use that because it's not cool. Anyway. So, we got command plus or minus or control. You gotta know that one because that's the coolest. It's like the cat's meow. And um, back to the command J thing real quick. Command J, that's what I just did. And I do that all the time, I cannot tell you. And um, here's another little one that I don't ever really use, but it's cool. If I have a selection, instead of just copying this to its own layer, See how I could copy this and then I would have to like maybe select this, like now this is another one. Command clicking on that layer, which is I use this all the time. It loads this as a selection. See how that's square? It makes that square selection around basically loads all that transparency and stuff like that. But if I loaded that as a selection, I grabbed this one and I did like command X, then I would have actually a hole in it and I'd have two separate images and uh, I have two layers with one with the background and one with the the whole part but anyway but that's not there's an easier way not my layer styles anyway okay so here's the easier way you grab I'm just make a copy you grab this you do command shift J and boom it just basically knocks out that portion that you selected just like that and if you click on your thingy too much your layer styles thing will come up because if you double click this then that's how you get to your layer styles and that's how you put like a drop shadow in there yeah anyway I'm not going to mess with that now but um... see it's kind of touchy anyway now for the tool presets, which I use all the th uh, or the tool shortcuts, um, B to get the brush. That makes sense. Most of them make sense, you know. I mean, if I'm getting to the brush, I'll use B. And um, here's what we do. Um, you'll notice that a lot of these have these little tabs, and when you click and hold, you can get to whatever's underneath there. And um, yeah, so basically what you do is you do B for the brush, and then you do Shift B to toggle through them. See, so there's like the weird, weird brush tool. I think it's the color replacement tool. I never use that. Um, there's the brush. There's the, you know, so that's how you get through those. Anyway, um, that's the history brush. And then uh, S to go to the stamp tool, which is a... Um, which is a you know good tool, and you can just like I said, Shift S goes to the you know like stamp eraser, what you the pattern stamp tool, which oh, I use that all the time. Just kidding. Of course, E goes to the eraser and whatever like whatever else is in there, and G goes to the gradient. But here's the thing that makes sense. But if I hit Shift G, it gives me the paint bucket which um, makes no sense at all because paint bucket um, actually doesn't start with G and it has nothing to do with G um, so just remember that one I'm gonna do shift G again um, but actually you should never even need to use the paint bucket because the paint bucket takes up too much of your time okay I'm gonna grab a new layer I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do instead of it you could grab this paint bucket and then you know do all this stuff and then you have to click on it and fill the layer okay that's not cool what you want to do is command um, or alt okay 
that shows me I'm halfway done. We want to command or alt um, delete or yeah delete or I guess backspace I don't know. But um, if I do command, it will it will fill my um, layer with this color right here, like that white. See that? If I do alt, it will fill it with black or whatever. I can just pick my my color. Do alt since it's the one in front, and there's the red right there, and that's um, that's very it comes in handy all of the time, you know. And I mean, and you can certainly make selections and then fill them with black and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, which reminds me, um, well, let's go to the uh, lasso tool. It's just L, and then the, this is how you get through all the lasso tools. Shift L, uh, wa magic wand, and and this is also the quick selection tool. Um, that's so just W and Shift W. Uh, v gets you to the move tool, and that makes no sense. The move tool, um, but yeah. So um, then there's C for the crop tool. J actually, this is actually the, um, what is this thing called? It's called the patch tool, but it also will get you to this uh, red eye fixer and the, sp the um, spot healing brush tool. And uh, so, it's, it's, what else do we have? Oh, O gives you the um, dodge and burn stuff, which I don't, yeah, I, mean, I use it actually. Uh, which one? I think like R, something weird, like R gives you the blur thing, and also like the sharpen and the smudge and all that sort of, and of course pen, P brings you the pen tool, all that sorts of stuff, T gets you the text tool, I shouldn't have done that because it usually takes me a lot of time for this thing to like, give me some text, anyway, and you know, if you do all this sorts of stuff, you get different text, um, so, I think I might have to do even another, so I'm going to uh, stop it right now.